Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you a short tutorial on how to do turns from fifth um, because I think it's something that we've all struggled with at some point or maybe you're still struggling at the moment but it's okay, I'm here to help. So one thing I really found that really helped me um, was just the coordination of the arms and um, opening the arms before I came around. Um, but let's first of all talk about some of the problems that can happen. Basically, if you're coming down with the bottom foot before this other one, then it's obviously going to be very difficult for you to do consecutive turns because you'll be going like this and then it's like you've lost the push off for the next one. So one thing you've got to really make sure is happening is you're coming down on two feet every time. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So before you even think about what the arms are doing, you need to make sure that is happening. So that's an exercise in itself, is just going up and down, up, down, up, not down, down, yeah? Both at the same time. Now, the other problem areas that can happen is we might land turned in. So it's really important you land nice and turned out, making sure you're setting yourself up well for the next turn. Because remember, the landing of the previous turn is the preparation for the next one. So if you land badly, you're preparing badly, and then the next pirouette won't be as good. So make sure we're landing nice and clean in a nice tight fifth each time. Then what can also happen is we start to drift to one side. So one thing I really like to talk about with my students is it's like your legs and your body are like the engine of a car, but it's like your shoulders are the steering wheel. So I want to steer this way. So I want to keep down and pin down on my supporting side. So I'm gonna really use my shoulder blade on that side as I turn, right? So I'm not drifting over. I can feel the supporting side as I go. So then you're staying in one place all the time. And then you can just keep going because you're doing the good fifth, you're doing the coordination of the feet and you're staying on the supporting shoulder. So now this leads to a few more other points before we get to the arms. One of which again is how fast are you getting to retire? Are you going slow up to the retire? Yeah, or are you going nice and quick to the retire? It needs to be quick. You always need to imagine your supporting leg is like a match box and your foot is like the match. You can't light a match if you go super slow. You have to be really quick. And that's exactly what you need to do with your foot. So as you're going around, nice and quick, 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 quick to the position every time. And now I'm gonna talk about the arms. Now, there's such a thing in ballet as like anticipating, anticipation, and with the arms, you've got to anticipate. So I'm gonna show you in slow motion. So as I go, I bring the arms in first, then once I get, three quarters of the way around, I start to open the arms, getting ready for the next one. So I'm already ready to go. So then when I land, I'm gonna be very strong and on fast. Another reason I'm doing this is so that I don't overspin, because otherwise if I keep my arms in first, then I'm just gonna keep going. Whereas if I open it a little bit sooner, then I can control where I finish much more easily. So you've got to think about going, in, out, down, in, out, down, in, out, down, in, out, down. So there's a bit of coordination going on there. So you can see me doing it now. In, out, down, in, out, down, in, out, down, in, out, down. Do you see? So then you can just keep going. There's this nice pull up and nice coordination. Then I feel very stable and very solid as I'm doing the arms. So as you can see, a lot to think about. One final thing I want you to focus on is when you're turning, you may notice that you'll start off well in a turned out retire. Then as you go around, it starts to turn in and then you get there and you've got this turned in retire. And once again, that'll set yourself up for a turned in fifth position. 
So you've got to think about finishing the retire to the front. Another reason why I open my arms early so I can push this knee back, keep this shoulder back so that I'm flat in this position rather than pushing this knee back and letting this shoulder come forwards, then I lose control. So it's kind of about going in, out, pushing the knee and arm out, down, in, out, down, in, out, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Okay, so think about those things. We're gonna try now doing a few turns from fifth. So pick your side, I'm gonna do it to the right side and we're just gonna have a little, little practice with music. Here we go. Yeah, so did you find the sensation a little bit more? So in, out, down. So I hope you can see when you're watching me do it, just how much um, emphasis I'm putting on that because it's just helping me be consistent every time I'm doing it. In, out, down, in, out, fifth, down, yeah, fifth. So as you can see, like with anything in ballet, there's quite a lot of thought behind it. There's several components to a simple turn from fifth, especially when you're talking about consecutive turns. So let's sum up. You've got to have a nice clean fifth position. You've got to land on two feet every time. You've got to keep the turn out of the retire, pushing it back as you come around, opening the arms, anticipating opening them, pushing the knee back, then come down, shooting the leg up to retire, nice and quick. Okay, so about six points for you. So write these down if you haven't already and keep practicing and let me know in the comments how your progress is getting on and if these tips helped you. So thank you so much and bye for now.